fight fans, this is Sean with Boxing Associates here with legendary Ronnie Shields. How's it going, Ronnie? Going great, man. Just working. Good, good. I see you guys, man. They're getting in hard work. Y'all train hard, man. We got some big fights coming up, huh? Absolutely. You know, we uh getting ready, man. Everybody's working hard, so got to put in all that work, you know? Right, right. You know, last time we talked, Mr. Shields, uh, we talked about how they had Jamal as the underdog, which we didn't understand why. Second round knockout. What did you see after the first round, and what did you tell Jamal in between rounds? Well, you know, I realized one thing that that uh, Antoine Smith had problems with the weight. He came in five and a half pounds overweight, so I know he wasn't in the best best of condition. Couldn't have been, you know, coming in five and a half pounds overweight. He disrespected the sport, and you know what you do with a guy like that is you, know, you put the pressure on him. You you know. I told Jamal, just fill him out the first round. Mm -hmm. Second round, I said, look, he's open for the right hand all day. Right. Said, but you got to double it up. He did, double it up, but it was over. When he dropped, did you think it was over? Do you think Antoine might have, you know, what did well, you think? The first right hand Jamal hit him was he, he wobbled. Right. Second right hand put him down. When he got up, he didn't have no legs at all. So I knew it was over with then. Right, right. Yeah, early night is always a good night, right? The best night. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so what we got coming up for his brother, uh, Jamel? Uh, Jamel is fighting October 14th, Monday night in uh, Sunrise, Florida, at the BT&T Center in uh, Sunrise, Florida. So uh, we got a good opponent, got 15 and one, kid from England. Mm. Uh, his name is Nassar Al Harbin. Okay, okay. So, you know, good, good, good opponent, you know. Uh, but, you know, we realize we have to train hard for him. Guy got a great record. And, you know, I, we know he's, He's upset, man. So, you know, we got to change all that, change his mind. Right, Mr. Shea, is there a big difference between fighting an American fighter versus a European fighter? No, not really, because the Europeans are really stepping up their game in boxing. So, you know, so, so we realize, you know, it doesn't make, make a difference who you fight. You have to be in the, in the best of shape and be ready for it. Right, right. Well, what was the first thing that went to your mind when they told us that they had to push back the Vera versus Chavez fight? Well, I realized that Chavez was having weight problems. Everybody knew it. Right. You no, know, it's no secret. Right. You know, he just have to, didn't have to come and lie and say, <laughs> well, you know, uh, he got cut. You know, it was nothing. Right. You know, uh, but the thing about it is, you know, it just gives us more time for Brian to get ready. I mean, you can always use the time. So, right. you know, so we, we didn't care. Right. I mean, you know, it, it didn't make a difference. But now they set the date. So this is it. Another cancellation, this fight would never happen. Right, right. So how hard is it being you're a trainer and you get your guy almost to the peak and you had to scale back a little bit? Is that hard on a trainer and a fighter or not oh, really? Absolutely not. Okay. Absolutely not. I mean, our pace is going really great. You know, I mean, we were just about to step up Brian's training, but I just kept it at a level pace. So now, now we're in, uh, we're more in the step up mode right now. So which is great for us. I mean, Brian is peaking at the right time. Right, right. And we see you had uh, Justin Deloach in there sparring. Say, how's Justin doing? What does he got coming Justin up? Justin is doing great. He's fighting uh, September the seventh on a on a set match with Chris Harry on the card. Uh, the number five. So we're looking forward to good things. He's fighting a pretty good veteran guy. Got eight fights. Uh, older guy, 34 years old. Okay. So you know the guy's been around a little bit, but you know this is tough of time for Justin now. Right, last question we got for you real quick. Seth Mitchell and uh, Ariel, how do you see that fight playing out? Well, you know... Uh, Chris just, looks like he's in shape. Yeah, well, Chris, Chris finally decided, I guess, to go ahead and do the right thing and get himself in, in shape. And he went to Arizona to train for the fight. And that's good for him, you know. Uh, but I think his talent is a little bit too much for, for Seth Mitchell. Uh, Seth Mitchell is a good, strong fighter. You know, we all know he, he can hit you and then he can hurt you. Right. The thing about it is, we don't know how much the Stavarian fight took out of Chris Harrell. Oh, yeah, yeah. You know, it's the first time I've really seen him get hurt besides, besides when he fought Benny Kiss I've uh, never seen him get hurt like that before. So, I mean, I don't know. You know, I think it's a crossover fight for both of them. But I think with the experience, the amateur experience that Chris Harrell has, I really think it's going to be a little bit too much to separate you. And I think he'll knock him out within six rounds. There you have it. Oh, and also, where's Danny? Danny O'Connor at? Yeah, Danny is coming back. He'll be back on. He'll be back Monday, actually. Oh, you got uh, a fight fighting, coming up? He just fought last week. He won, and uh, he fighting against September the 12th. September so, 12th. Absolutely. All right, there you go. Thanks for your time, Mr. Shield. All right, man. Thank you.